start again. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I had a commenter ask me if um, George and Sally got their names by us or was that really their, somebody that maybe passed away in the house. Well, you know, when we moved here, we just named the first ghost George. And apparently that must have been his name because when the kids were littler, they would tell me that George has a wife. And we did not know that, but apparently he did. And we'd ask him, well, what's their names? And he, she said, they would say, well, his name is George and her name is Sally. So we found out through the kids that there was George and Sally. We knew George, but we just named George George because it just seemed like a name that was fitting for my ghost that's in the house. Well, George and Sally haven't done anything crazy lately. I haven't lost anything. I haven't had to search for anything. But I, I thought I would tell you that the names came from the kids told us Sally's and George apparently that must have been his name and we just happened to name him correctly. Um, I was talking about my kitchen the other day and somebody else said that's probably immaculately clean, really clean. It's not. It really is not. Now the cupboards, my husband actually built all the cupboards in my house. My cupboards were just slabs of boards that were in my dining room at the time and they were there for two years as they cured and then he built the cupboards. That was the only way we could probably afford to to have our my kitchen redone and it was funny because when my kitchen was torn apart I had no kitchen in the house none at all we were down we had ripped we had taken the walls down to the studs which and down to the outside wall actually and there was a sign next door for the property behind us was for sale and somebody thought our house was for sale and somebody stopped to ask me how much we wanted for the house and I told him the house wasn't for sale. Well, my husband said I should have sold the house for 100000 or something at some ridiculous price. We didn't even have a kitchen in the house at the time because we had torn it apart. And so we did um, the dishes. Like when you go camping, you know how you do dishes? You have a pan of water that you have the soapy water, then you have the rinse water, and then you, have, then you put your dishes on the towel or the draining area to drain. Well, that's how we did our dishes, and we did, a lot of people would say they bring the dishes upstairs to do them in the bathtub. Well, that would, to me, would be a lot more work than just doing it camping style, where you would have the pan of water, soapy water, on a, on a table or a sawhorse with a board on it, so that was your new table, and um, wash your dishes that way. It was much easier. Well... I guess that's it for today. I really didn't have anything much to tell you, but I did want to tell you about the Sally and George. And I wanted to say that my kitchen is not super clean. It's it, I, we, we skimped on the backsplash. I really could use a nice backsplash. We couldn't afford um, a backsplash at the time, so we put Marlite, is that what that's called? Marlite on the wall. And you know, when Marlite gets a little grease on it and you start to scrub, you can take the finish right off the Marlite. So you, you either leave the grease there or you have a spot where you can see the finish gone. I hope you had a great day. And tomorrow I hope something exciting happens so I can share it with you. And I'll see you then. Bye.